Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. Got a good one for you today. I'm going to get into uh, the comeback of Gary Coley and Francisco Patero. A fight I really like. I think the odds are crazy on. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It'll get you the lock of the week. It's also in the banner below. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you to ask the book anything. It gets you a ton of perks for just five dollars a month. That's just five dollars a month. Uh, join the Patreon. Um, link is in the description. Get all those perks. Just five bucks a month. Also subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. I'm gonna try to go through this quick. I'm busy. There's thunderstorming. I don't know if my internet's going to go out. A lot of times in, in the thunderstorms, I have internet issues, so I'm going to try to get through this quick. Uh, Gary Culley was a really high-touted prospect out of Ireland. A lot of people liked him. A lot of people thought the world of him. He's 6'2", I guess, 6'3", southpaw, <clears throat> featherweight. So that, that natural – or lightweight. I'm sorry, lightweight. I don't know why I said featherweight. Lightweight. Strong, long, rangy guy. I, I understand why some people like him. I don't really see it. He's defensively flawed. He's defensively sloppy. Chin up in the air. He's not difficult to hit. But uh, you know, obviously, there's 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 things to like about. Him. I'm not saying he's trash. Um, he's a good fighter. He's tall, rangy, long. Obviously, he uses his 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 height and reach well. He's a southpaw. He got natural things that he uses. He's not a high volume guy, although he can get into a rhythm and he can get in this little rat attack style from the outside. He wants to be on the outside. His power is obviously at the end of his punches. So he wants to be on the outside, fully extend his shots, and he does it. He doesn't pull his punches. He's totally straight shots. They're pretty clean. He uses his jab well. He flicks it out there. He keeps you at bay to put the right hand behind it. He, Offensively, he does some things well. I don't think he's got freakish power, although his power is probably average to above average. He throws hard shots. He, he commits to them. He's got the quick jab, but he commits to his power shots. He's not a, a terrible fighter. He's just not good defensively. He's easy to hit. He's slow. He's, like I said, his chin is in the air. There's no head movement. He's in front of you to be tagged. And that's why he got stopped. The way that he did, he got stopped by Jose Felix, a veteran of 50 fights or whatever. Back about a year ago, he came back. He bounced back with a points decision over Reese Mould, who I do think he beat Mould. It was a close fight. I I thought he won. I thought he clearly won a competitive fight. And now he comes back with Francisco Patera, another veteran. And Francisco Patera, I think, is a guy that is stylistically not a great matchup. Again. He can't hit, so I understand why they made the fight. Patera can't hit. He, and we just saw Patera go the distance with Keyshawn Davis. He went the distance with Keyshawn Davis, so some people are going to give him credit for that. He also lost every single minute of the round, and it took quite a beating. So you got to factor that in, too. Decent boxer, decent movement, decent speed. Swarmer has good lateral movement, pretty quick feet, moves forward, gets in a good rhythm. Puts his punches together, and he puts pressure on you. Quick lateral movement. He likes to come forward. He's, he's a come forward fighter. This is a really interesting fight. So you have a come forward guy. Can he get on the inside? If he can constantly get on the inside, he's going to win a fight. If he's on the outside, he's going to lose. He's not. Like I said, he's not a hitter. But he, he does. He, he's a pressure guy, a volume guy. He does come forward. He closes distance well, which is why I think this is a bad matchup for, for Coley. He gets in and out. I don't think – I think he's going to want to stay on the inside because I haven't seen Coley do much damage on the inside. I see his damage coming from the outside. So just get on the inside and stay there, which is not traditionally what he does. He likes to get in and out, use his speed, use his movement. But he's got a nice jab to get on the inside. Like I said, he's a pretty decent athlete. He throws – well, he can win rounds on volume if he gets on the inside. He's got to get on the inside, outwork him, outwork him, outwork him. And I think that's kind of how he wins the fight. Coley, how Coley wins the fight is simply to keep on the outside. 
just keep running outside and don't get tagged. And even if he gets tagged, again, again Pantera can't hit, so he's not going to get ice like he did in the Felix fight. This is a 50-50 fight, and that's why I'm going to tell you to bet this fight the way that I am. Because it is truly a 50-50 fight. You're going to see the odds, and you're going to be like, what the? Are these really the odds? Yes, these are really the odds. And I don't understand. Okay, they've come down a little bit. Yesterday, they were at minus 800. And minus four, uh, I'm sorry, minus 800 for Cully and plus 500 for Patara. They've come down a little bit. I like Patara. What I, what I really like is the over. Where's the over? Let's take that. There's no over under. Is it really no over under? They give you does it go the distance, but no over under. Huh? No, that's what we'll take. Patera, take half a bet on that, and a full one times bet for it to go the distance. If you can get whatever you're betting, if you're not using DraftKings, if there's an over eight and a half, an over, just take the over. It, it saves you. It gives you a little bit more leeway. I like the over. This doesn't have that for some reason. I thought it did. Fight lines. Is this it? Popular. Am I missing something? Yeah, it doesn't have. Okay, that, that's fine. So Patera on a one times fifty dollar bet is going to make you one hundred and twelve fifty. One hundred and twelve fifty. And then. A hundred dollar bet for it to go the distance, which can make you sixty. That's seventy two fifty. That's one seventy two fifty, right? Am I getting am I getting that right? So that's sixty, and oh, it's two twelve, two twelve. So it's gonna make you two hundred and seventy dollars, two hundred seventy two dollars on a hundred fifty dollar bet. So if you make your normal one times bet, your big bet for this thing to go the distance, and you hedge it, you put a little small bet on Patera to win, you're gonna hit. If Patera loses, you still make money. You still make a little bit. Because you hit on the fight going the distance. And I think this fight certainly goes the distance. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. I really like betting on this. I like this bet. I like this. I, I like this. I, this is a good bet to make. Patera on the over. I mean, uh, fight to go the distance. Patera on the money line. It's going to make you some nice money. It's 50-50 fight. It doesn't make any sense to bet. Call at minus 600. There's a good chance he could lose, even if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong and Cully wins the decision, you still went over. I can't see Cully knocking him out. Patera just went the distance with Keyshawn Davis. If he goes the distance with Keyshawn Davis, he's going the distance with Cully. This is my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers of bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Join the Patreon. Get the Lock of the Week. Five dollars a month. Get all the other perks. The free t-shirt. Ask the bookie anything. All the everything. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. It is May 24th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.